Hi you guys welcome back to my channel so as you saw from the thumbnail and the title this is a Khatija versus Kanmani makeup look someone on my YouTube video commented that I do this video and I thought it was such a cool idea so here it is so if you want to know how I created both of these looks for Nainthara as well as Samantha from the movie Kathu Vakla Rindakadu then please do continue watching. So the first look is Samantha's makeup look which is the Khatija makeup look um, that she is sporting in the movie. So first thing first I have cleansed my face using the Dermavive Hydra Cleanser which is super super gentle, mild and gets rid of all the dirt and impurity and also maintains the pH level of your skin. Then to prep and moisturize, I'm using the Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. I'm putting that all over the face and neck and massaging it properly until the product gets absorbed into the skin. And this is going to act as a beautiful pre-makeup base and it provides the apt amount of hydration to my skin. Then I'm going to move on with primer. I'm using the Smashbox Oil Control Primer. I love this one on my oily skin type. So I'm just putting that on the main areas of my face and just blending it out using my fingertips. You can use whatever primer that you like on your skin type. Then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using the Pack Eyebrow Definer, another favorite product to fill in my eyebrows. So I'm going to pick up this beautiful deep dark brown shade on an angled brush that comes along with the kit itself and create a nice thick bold eyebrow but also keeping it a bit on the elongated side because Samantha has beautiful thick yet very long eyebrows so that's what I tried to create here then I've got a lot of pigmentation on my skin and Samantha doesn't so I'm gonna do a bit of color correction uh, so I'm gonna take my pack rusty orange color corrector and put that on all of the hyper pigmented areas on my face and then I'm gonna blend it out using a damp beauty blender from elf it is very important that you blend out the color corrector before you put on your foundation because otherwise your base makeup will turn orange Once I'm happy with the blending, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter uh, Illuminator product and this is in the shade 6.5 deep and just applying that on the highest points of my face to add a subtle little healthy glow um, kind of a look for my skin. So I'm just going to blend it out using the same beauty blender again. You see that beautiful subtle glow, I absolutely love this product to create a beautiful healthy looking skin. For foundation, I'm mixing these two foundations, uh, both are from Nykaa All Day Matte Liquid Foundation. Mixing two of these shades to mix in and customize my own skin color. I'll put the shade names in the description box and just putting that on the center of my face and then blending it out using my damp beauty blender. This foundation is a beautiful dewy finish um, and natural looking foundation. So hence why I chose this foundation for this look because Samantha has beautiful and natural looking skin. I'm also keeping the foundation super light and natural here and just building up a little bit only on the cheek area and whatever is left on the sponge, I'm putting that on my ear and the neck area as well. I'm going to highlight and conceal a little bit so I'm going to take the Forever 52 liquid concealer in the shade 005 which is just a little lighter to my skin tone not too much so I'm just applying that to the usual areas that I like to highlight such as the under eyes on the center of my forehead the bridge of the nose the cupids bow the chin and also on top of my eyelids and also carving out my eyebrows in the same step. Once I've applied the concealer, I'm going to take my Pack 219 Concealer Blending Brush and blend out all of the concealed areas in gentle dabbing motion. Now to set and bake everything in place, I'm going to use the Coty Air Spun Loose Powder and I'm going to take a little bit of that loose powder on my damp beauty blender and try to bake the under eyes and also above my eyelids, not too much, just a little bit. 
and also baking around the mouth and around the nose area where I tend to crease up a lot. I'm also setting the rest of the face as well using a very very light layer of the same loose powder. This is not an extremely matte powder, it kind of has a natural finish on the skin. Then to bronze up my skin, I'm using my favorite Revolution Super Bronzer in the shade uh, Gobi, which is a beautiful deep um, bronzy matte bronzer and putting that on the perimeters of my face and on the forehead, on my jawline and also on the sides of my nose, under my bottom lip and also on the crease of my eyes and my lower lash line. Then to add a bit of color to the cheeks, I'm taking the Sugar Cosmetics uh, Mini Blusher in the shade Salmon Superstar, which is a deep peach color and it's a beautiful color. So I'm just putting that on the apples of the cheeks because she has a beautiful youthful looking uh, cheek going on in the movie. So that's what I did here as well. To highlight, I'm going to keep it super, super subtle and natural. For that, I'm going to take this mini little Milani baked blusher in the shade Luminoso, which acts as a very, very subtle and beautiful dewy highlighter on my skin tone. So I'm just putting that on the highest points of my cheeks, on the bridge of the nose, on the cupid's bow, the chin, and also on the inner corners of my eyes and dusting a little bit on the brow bone as well. Then I'm going to take this MAC um, In Extreme Dimension Kajal Pencil. This is not a jet black kajal but it's sort of like a charcoal black kajal and Samantha has a soft definition going on on her upper lash line. So I'm going to put that very very close to my upper lash line like a liner and smudge it out using a pencil brush. Very very softly, not exactly like a smoky liner but giving it a smudged finish and not too harsh looking. I'm also going to put the same kajal on my lower lash line but not on my lower waterline because I saw that she had defined the lower lash line in a very different and beautiful way to awaken up her eyes so that's what I'm doing here also. I'm not going to take it all the way to the inner uh, part of the lower lash line but just keeping it um, on the outer corner and the mid way and smudging it out using the same pencil brush so that it doesn't look too harsh. For mascara, I'm using my MAC um, Stack Mashka Mascara Mascara, and this is a beautiful volumizing mascara so I'm gonna add several coats of this to my top and bottom eyelashes. Then I'm going to blot off the lip balm and to line my lips, I'm going to take the Kiko Milano uh, Smart Fusion Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate, which is my absolute favorite lip liner of all times. So I'm just going to draw uh, the outline of my lips and going a little above my natural lip line because Samantha has beautiful plumpy lips. So that's what I'm trying to create here as well. For lipstick, first I took this mini little Charlotte Tilbury um, lipstick in the shade Walk of No Shame which is a deep um, reddish brownish nude kind of a colour. So I'm just putting that on the entire lips. Samantha has this beautiful uh, rosy pink lip going on in the movie. Now to set everything in place, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Setting Spray to lock everything in place. This one adds a little bit of a glowy sheen and yet keeps your makeup water resistant, sweat resistant and heat proof and all of that. And now I'm going to do my hair off camera and come back to you guys. So basically I just opened up the curls and made it look more natural and flowy. So that is my finished Khatija makeup look from the movie Kathava Kalar and Kadal which Samantha sported and she looked absolutely super cute in all of the looks that she wore in the movie and I absolutely fell in love with her in this movie. I managed to find a very very similar um, outfit as well which she wore in the movie as well. So this is the finished look of Samantha. She looked absolutely gorgeous, cute and baby doll like-ish in the movie which I absolutely loved.
Now moving on to Kanmani's makeup tutorial which is sported by Nayantara in the movie and this is a very classic Nayantara makeup look uh, but maybe a little bit of a tweak and twist um, in it but basically it's very very um, classic Nayantara's makeup look. So I'm using the same uh, pack eyebrow definer here, my foundation and everything is on and I'm going to keep my eyebrows quite blocky because that's what Nayantara has. She has super thick and blocky eyebrows and they are blunt at the tail. Then I'm going to take a little bit of concealer which is the K-Beauty liquid concealer and putting that on the eyelids and I'm going to uh, carve out my eyebrows as well and also highlighting the rest of the face as well and blending it out using a concealer blending brush. I'm going to add a bit of cheek tint. This is the Revolution Baby Tint and this is in a beautiful pink shade. I think it's called Blush and I'm just going to put that on the highest points of my cheeks because Nayantara has a very different application of blush in the movie. She has it quite higher up and I'm going to blend it out using a buffing brush so that it looks super super natural. Now I'm going to set the makeup in place using the same Coty Airspun Loose Powder and this time I'm using a brush to set the under eyes as well as on top of the eyelids and also setting the um, mouth area as well. And for the rest of the face, I'm gonna use a very very light layer of the same loose powder. Now I'm gonna take this brown kajal pencil from MAC and I'm gonna put that all over the eyelids but keeping it under the crease of my eyes because this is going to act as a smoky base for this eye makeup because Nayantara always wears a smoky eye like a queen so I'm just going to put it and scribble it all over the eyelid it doesn't have to be super super neat and the best way to blend this out is by using your ring finger because the kajal automatically uh, warms up with the warmth of your finger and blends and melts right into the eyelids so i'm just going to use my finger to do that step then i'm going to take the same mac kajal and put that on the uh, lower waterline because it's a smoky eye so you have to make sure that there are no flesh tones peeking through and nayantara also has a beautiful cold rimmed eyes going on and i'm also using that same pencil to tight line my eyes as well now I'm going to take the Revolution Super Bronzer again, the same exact product and putting that all over the eyelids even on top of the kajal that I put and blending that on the crease of my eyes. So this way it's going to create a beautiful um, intensity for your smoky eyes and also looks blended at the same time. It's super super easy yet effective method to create a smoky eye look. I'm also using the same bronzer to define my lower lash line as well. I'm using the same MAC Stack Mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes and adding several coats of this because Nayantara loves to accentuate her eyes and in this movie also she has beautiful uh, lashes going on. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to use the uh, same bronzer to kind of add a little bit of warmth at the very very outer perimeter of my face, not bringing it all the way towards the inner cheek area, keeping it very very close to the temple, a little bit on the forehead and on the jawline as well. I'm also uh, contouring the nose a little bit, just a little, not too much. And I'm using the same Milani Luminoso blusher to add a subtle little highlight on the cheeks this way the highlight looks absolutely natural on the skin also highlighting the tip of the nose the bridge of the nose the cupid's bow the chin and the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone then i'm going to take the kiko smart fusion lip liner once again in the shade chocolate and try to sort of accentuate the cupid's bow because she has a nice lifted cupid's bow and the corners are pretty pretty slender and thin so i'm kind of trying to mimic nayantara's features here not too much but just a little bit to give that vibe to my makeup look and also i'm gonna contour the edges on the bottom lip and keep the center sort of plumped 
For lipstick, I'm taking this beautiful brown nude lipstick from Sugar. This is the Nothing Else Matter Bullet Lipstick in the shade Browning Glory and tapping that lipstick all over the lips. It has a very beautiful natural lip going on and this lipstick goes very well on my skin tone. To add a subtle little sheen, I'm using a lip balm to just apply it on the centers of my lips. That instantly adds a little bit of juiciness and poutiness to the lips. And to set everything in place, I'm using my favorite pack micro finish setting spray to lock everything in place and add that beautiful ethereal glow that Nayantara has going on in all of her makeup looks. And this is the finished Kanmani makeup tutorial from the movie Kathuva Klar in the Kadal, which Nayantara wore in the movie. She wore these beautiful cotton and linen saris all over and all throughout the movie and she looked very very pretty and elegant. Sort of like a girl next door kind of a look which Nayantara sported in the movie. So this is my finished Khatija vs Kanmani makeup tutorial. All the products that I use in today's video will be listed and linked in the description box. I really really hope that you guys liked and enjoyed watching this video as much as I did in creating this video for you all. If you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such amazing videos. Make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. Also follow me on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description box. This is it. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye.